each part of this video series will cover basic expansion binomial expansion deals with expanding brackets example here anything to the power of zero is one in our previous videos we have been able to show that two to the power of zero is one three to the power of zero is one a to the power of zero is one and anything inside the bracket to the power of zero is one it doesn't matter how it's arranged in this next example we just have only one here so the bracket is just only one and everything inside returns in this the bracket is two so we have to expand the bracket twice i want to make um, a little correction here about mistakes some students make this x plus y square you cannot do it as s square plus y square this is wrong the square outside the bracket is just saying that this bracket is 2 if x and y we are multiplying and we have a square outside you can say s square y square this is correct but if x and y is separated with plus or minus and with a square you cannot do it like this the value here means we have to expand it twice likewise if it's dividing and we have square we can have it like this and is correct now with that understanding we are going to do this multiply by this we are going to have x square then this multiply by this we are going to have plus x y so x is done then y multiply by this we are going to have plus y x or x y is still the same then this multiply by this we are going to have y square x square is here x y is an entity and x y is also an entity so let's say that this is an orange this is an orange so we are going to have two oranges plus y square this is our result this is called the first term this is called the second term in this expansion this is the first term this is the second term and this is the third term in this we have to expand this three so that's the meaning of that so i'm going to have x plus y x plus y x plus y in three places remember that we have done this for two so i will take everything here and put for this answer so this we multiply this and you're going to have x to the power of three this we multiply this and you're going to have x square y this is done so this we multiply this you're going to have two x square y and this we multiply this and you're going to have two x y square so this will multiply this you're going to have x y square and this will multiply this you're going to have y cube now looking at this x square y is one and we have two there's another x square y here then we have x square y here here we have x y square and here we also have x y square so if this is x to the power of three now if x square y is an orange so we have x square y by two of it so we're going to have three of these oranges i'm done with this two so if x y square x y square is like mango so we have two and one of it so we have three x y square 
plus y cube. This is now our result. This is the first term, the second term, the third term, and the fourth term of the expansion. If we now have maybe to the power of 4, to the power of 5, to the power of 6, to the power of 7, and to the power of 15, and so on, you see such expansion will be very tedious because you need to keep expanding the, this bracket as long as the power this is the origin of binomial theorem finding other ways of doing this type of expansion less stressful mathematicians invented means which we can use to expand these brackets which one of them is combination method and the other one is pascal triangle let's start with combination in binomial expansion we are not trying to solve combination or permutation we are just trying to use their formulas to help us in binomial expansion in by in combination this can be written as n combination r and this can be written as n permutation r you can see that this as a whole which is n factorial over n minus r factorial is exactly here the only difference between combination and permutation is just the addition of the r prime below the denominator combination simply means selecting objects or variables while permutation simply means arranging objects or variables we're going to be dealing with combination and permutation in another video however in this video before we use it to, for expansion let's look at some basic way of solving combination if i have five combination zero for example using the formula the formula says n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial here our 5 is our n and our 0 is r so it's going to be written as 5 factorial over 5 minus 0 factorial 0 factorial 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 5 minus 0 returns 5 we're going to have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and we have 0 factor factorial 5 cancels 5 this cancels this this cancels this this cancels this this cancels this and we end up having 1 over 0 factorial 0 is not allowed at the denominator of any number in mathematics however this is not just zero this is zero factorial this means that zero can be selected as an object so here one over one zero factorial is one and our answer is one we can do same for five combination one five combination two and so on which we are going to use to expand brackets when given in binomial expansion. In our next video, we are going to apply combination in the expansion of binomial. I will see you in the next video.